Hello everyone, welcome back to the one more session of the management information system. Today we will be starting with the new module that is the decision making. Before starting up to the new module, let us discuss what we have gone through. In the previous sessions, we have discussed about the importance of information, data, how data has been converted into information, the various factors of information, what does information play in, with respect to an organization and also the impact of information in the organization. So in the previous sessions we have seen when we talk about MIS it is nothing but information. We have dealt with these things. We have dealt with this concept with various illustration and various topics. Now we will see the extended version of this. When we talk about MIS, we have seen so far that MIS means information. Then what does this information signifies? When we talk about this information, it signifies about the concept called the decision making. MIS mainly talks about the concept of decision making. Why? So let us take a scenario and let us look about the concept why decision making is so important with respect to the MIS. So if some decision has to be made, okay, let us consider our home. In our home, when the decision has to be made, usually we give this option or leave this option to an elderly person. Either it might be a father in a house or a grandfather in a house. Why do we leave this concept of decision making to them? We consider they have quite a bit of experience. And how do they have got this experience? Over a period of time and even they have seen lot of such kind of scenarios or the situations where they have gone through those problems. So they have a lot of experience gained with that and also they have done lot of trial and errors. Okay, with these trial and errors, they have come across the situation which is the best solution for the problems. So when we are making the concept of decision making to an elderly person, what is the role of decision making in organization means it has a very high inference. So when you talk about decision making, the next module deals with the same thing. Decision making. When we talk about decision making, who makes decision in the organization? When we talk about an organization, the managers, why do we, why do we leave this option to managers? Because we think that, <coughs> sorry, because we think that managers knows the in and out of an organization. He has a complete information of various activities that's happening together. So with all this information, he is able to assess the concept and he might solve the problem or he might take a decision to the problem which has raised or enforced him to take a decision. So this is why this concept or, uh, or a module is been kept in the syllabus. So this module is with the decision making. So here we totally deal with lot of decision. Whereas in the previous model we have seen about a different types of strategies. So we, we, we may make a strategy but deciding to apply those strategy comes to the concept of making a decision which to use and which not to use. So let us start with the word. The word decision is derived from a Latin word called decido which means to cut off or sometimes the concept is that the concept of decision making is nothing but settlement. What do you mean by cut off or a settlement or when you call up a rest means when you say cut off, decision is a process where you have lot of option and you decide to choose one particular thing out of it. That is called a decision making means. Let us illustrate with a one, one more example. Consider there are two pen, pen A and pen B. So both the pens are very excellent and very good, but you cannot buy both the pens at, 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 at that instance of time. So you need to choose either pen A or a pen B. 
if you are in a state where you are not able to conclusion able to come to a conclusion then you are not able to make a decision if you say no i don't go with the pen a but i buy the pen a means you are making a decision whenever there is a choice of making a decision there are lot of options to choose among it this is the importance of decision decision making is not so easy because you have wide variety of options choosing one is a key part in decision making so when we could say about cut off the decide the word decide itself says cut off the latin word what do you mean by cut off there are lot of things choose one cut off the other things leave the rest and choose the one important thing so again it is nothing but you are able to come to a settlement now i am able to come to a settlement saying that i'll buy a pen b and i am satisfied with that means you are able to come to a settlement stating that i am satisfied with the pen b so leaving the pen a that is cut off the pen a this is the meaning of the word decide or decision making now the decision is a choice out of several options made by the manager means a manager should look into the concept of variety options not just he looks into the first one and chooses the second first one or just looks into the last one and chooses this is the last one so i'll choose it's a decision so no he has to look into the all the options and adopt the best one we'll see how does he choose and all the things next is a business decisions when we look into the concept of business decision it is the mode of processing or contacting the business or when you say about you contact the business and you look into the various process so that you make a decision that decision achieves the objectives of a given environment in a given environment whatever it might be a situation you make a decision looking into the various components and the variations and that decision would lead to the achievement of the objective of an organization that is what we call it our business decision then there are few characteristics of a business decision so when you talk about the characteristics of business decision the first is it is sequential in nature what do you mean by sequential in a nature means whenever you adopt or apply a business a decision on a business organization it applies to everyone so a care should be taken that you are not keeping only a particular thing in mind because your decision would be affecting all the people of all the levels and all the processes so when you make a decision it applies like this it is not through the vertical line it is a sequentially it applies to everyone means every small decisions made in the organization is applicable to everyone second one it is exceedingly complex and risk so when you want to make a decision <coughs> it is not so easy because your decision would affect many process and your decision would affect many people in the organization so it is complex in nature because you are changing the channel or the direction of the organization so it is complex and also sometimes there are lot of risks involved so manager when he has when he is about to take a decision he has to he has to consider all these things the complexity has to be assessed and also the risks involved in because his decision is meant to reach the goal so he has to take those risks so he has to handle those risks and the next point is it is always influenced by personal value whenever a decision is made a person is notion is always or his personal values are always without knowingly introduced in the concept of decision make, making because the notion of one person or the concept or idea behind or the decision making with respect to one person varies to others so his own personal values would also affect the decision making then what is the fourth point it is the made 
with institutional settings. When we talk about institutional settings, means and environment, whatever the decision a manager has to make, he, is, he has a governing body, means he has his own limitation. He cannot exceed the boundaries or the limitations of our organization. And also he has to consider the various environmental factors. When you say environmental factors, the various processes, various people in the organization and many other things. So what are the environmental factors that affect a decision or information system? We have already discussed in the previous session. So all these factors has to be kept in mind before making a business decisions. So these are the few characteristics that are associated with the business decision. The first is it's a sequential in nature. Second, it, it involves a lot of complexity and also the decision which he takes involves some kind of risk involved. He has to handle those risks in an efficient manner. And also lot of personal values will also be creeped into his decision with or without his awareness. And finally, there are a lot of institutional settings and also environmental factors that affects the institution uh, with respect to the decision may business decisions. Next. Next, we look into the one more concept of decision making that is rational decision making what is what do you mean by rational it is always logical When we talk about rational decision making, it is logical things, means it has its own meaning. Because of this, I am doing this. If I am thirsty, I drink water. Why did I drink water? Because I am thirsty. That is called a rationalistic means. When you say about rationalistic, because of the consequence you do it and that has to fulfill the decision that was made. There are one more illustration that can be considered. Outside, if it's raining. What is the inference? Rational thing. If I am a rational person or a positive person, what should I do in this logical thing? Since outside it's raining, I need to carry an umbrella so that I don't get wet. This is the inference or this is called a rational kind of decision making. When we talk about rational decision making, it is an efficient and effective means or it ensures, a rational decision ensures the effective and efficient way of making a decision in order to achieve the objectives of an organization. And remember one more thing, a rational decision should be always a positive in nature, means we need to achieve the output from that, means whenever a decision is made, what for what reason the decision would be made, that has to be fulfilled, that is called rational approach. So next when we talk about these things, there is no such reality which would say that it is a right decision, this is wrong decision. We can't say that. We cannot say this is a right decision or a wrong decision. Carrying an umbrella is always good, but if it is not raining, it's of no use. So we cannot say that the carrying umbrella was a wrong decision. So rather than that, we can have two kinds of things. One, the decisions could be rational or irrational. Means, a positive approach, a logic is there. The logic that's been applied with respect to this kind of situation where the decision was needed and if it's fulfilled, then we call it as rational decision. Then anything where a decision is made and it does not achieve the objective of the decision that was made is said to be an irrational decision. Then the quality of decision is judged based on the rationality, not on the process or the output or the result we get from the process. I repeat this statement, the quality of a decision making 
ओके इज जज बेस्ड ऑन द रैशनैलीटी रैदर दैन नाट ऑन द रिसल्ट और द नंबर ऑफ आउटपुट वी गेट फ्रॉम द प्रोसेस मीन्स इन द रैशनल डिसीशन मेकिंग वी लुक इन टू द quality of the output because of this situation we were forced to take this action and this is the outcome of this process or a decision this is what we call it as a rational decision making next the the concept was further explained by herbert simon a person called herbert simon explains the different properties okay or a situation a rational decision made or a rational decision should be made or will be made in various situations what are those situations first one means there would encounter we would be encountering lot of situation where this rational decision making would be used the first one is objectively what do you mean by objectively when we talk about object objectively here the positive approach is mainly considered uh, constituted on the objective of the organization we look what it bothers to others or whatever whatever it might happen to other thing we mainly focus positively on objective of an organization so we look into the upliftment that's it the main objective is mainly concentrated and the decisions are made accordingly so that kind of rational decision making is the situation is called the objectively and second one is subjectively we should make we should be rationalistic in making a decision even with respect to particular subjects also there might be a situation where we encounter a particular concept or particular subjects needs to be handled or particular case need to be handled in respect to our decision making even in that case we need to make a proper subjectively a decision making next is consciously we should be always be cautious or conscious about our decision making it is not that we are saying that our manager saying that i made a decision and i was not conscious about that what, what would be happening no it is a vague answer it just cannot be accepted because it's a sequential in nature it affects everyone so there, there might be a situation where you should be very consciously make a situation in absence mind absence mind or some other situation forced me to make this kind of, this kind of situation or a decision will not be entertained with respect to organization goal and finally organizationally what is this here we always there should be a positive approach with respect to organization looking into the organization a rational approach has to be made means always keep looking into the organization in a positive way yes our organization organization has to go what are the plus points what are the negative points let us take all the positive points and make the decision in a such a way always organization is first so organization has to go first because if organization is very good everyone would be fulfilling their bread and butter and finally the one more parameter that applies here is personal value there might be a lot of situation when we make make a decision a manager has to keep there should be no interference of his personal benefits a decision should be made in a honest way so are looking into a situation i might be favor with this person no decision should not be made and that person might be a culprit later if i try to make a favor and he may completely ruin the organization then just to make a favor i am not supporting him instead i am ruining the whole organization and myself that would be the situation of a manager so there should be a no room for personal values with respect to the decision making when it comes to a rational approach so he should be honestly doing 
so when it took uh, when it uh, when you look into the concept of decision making with respect to business so various situation might encounter that is the herbert simon the professor herbert simon says these are the five situation you need to consider first one is objectively second is subjectively and consciously you should make a situation decision and organizationally and finally the personally you need to keep into the concept next one what are the problems we saw about what is rational decision and how are the rational decision made and what are the different types of rational decisions or with respect to different situations telling to make a decision rationally is very easy okay but if you give a choice to make a decision it is very difficult okay you should be very honest suppose if you if a student or a kid is made to stand in front of his father and mother and ask the question whom do you love tell me one question a kid would be in a very different situation if he says i love father it's a different thing if i say i love mother again it's a problem so what is the situation it should be very compromising and it should convince everyone so there are a lot of problems in making a decision let us look into the scenarios with respect to one 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 by one so problems in rational decision making we'll see one by one what are the different types of problem that are prevailed first one is ascertaining the problem what do you mean by ascertain we are not able to understand itself in many of the scenarios many great business management institutions fails to make proper decisions or whenever there is a situation where which arises for decision making the management people directly run behind behind the thing to provide a right solution always when there is a situation for decision making they search for the right answer rather they do not understand the problem itself they do not understand what is the right question to be asked to ascertain the problem they face this problem because they do not understand the question first so let us take a scenario if there is a small kid i wanted to ask a question to this kid what is my question is is the peacock national bird of india this is my question and i expect the answer from the kid it is yes or no that's it okay i would like to ask the question he is peacock a national bird of india and kid should say either if he knows yes it should be yes and or he or she should say no this is the reply i am expecting now what i do i go in front of a kid and say he is peacock i just say this word and before completing my question and kid says yes yes it's a bird it's a bird what happened here the kid was not able to ascertain the question properly itself but kid the answer was right but the question what this kid pursued was a different thing and what i wanted the answer for the question is totally different in the similar way this could happen in the organization where management run behind providing the right solution rather they do not ascertain the right question and the right problem itself so they are providing a right solution for the wrong question so the first problem while making a rational decision is the ascertaining the problem itself second one insufficient knowledge see always i told you that in the beginning of the session itself the decision is decision is made by a manager even i gave an illustration why the decision is made keep keeping the person in mind stating that he has quite enormous amount of knowledge he has a complete uh, information about the things happening and he has encountered such kind of scenarios already in his past experience so when you talk about insufficient knowledge the manager is said to be the key person for making the decision and there should be a strong line of division 
okay or a bifurcation a manager should be in a state saying that the line of difference between the sufficient knowledge and insufficient knowledge he should be in a state saying that i have sufficient knowledge or i have insufficient knowledge if he has a sufficient knowledge then he should proceed in make a decision if he feels that i am in the line other side that is the part of insufficient knowledge he should not make a decision if he then even if prevailing insufficient knowledge if he makes a decision again it goes wrong then it, it would be a not a rational decision this is the one more problem that we encounter while making a rational decision next is not enough time to react means i always keep saying that decision should not be made in a hurry it should be assessed first assess what is the question assess what is the situation then analyze it what has given rise to the problem what has given rise you are forced you to make a decision if you don't have sufficient amount of time it is nowhere possible to take a right decision sometimes there might be insufficient time for the managers or he might be in a situation there decision should be made immediately but manager do not have sufficient time to analyze the situation then if he makes a decision obviously the decision ruins the processes and also objectives of the organization so this is said to be the third point which is again a problem for rational decision making the fourth one environment may not cooperate what do you mean by environment when we talk about environment sometime decision in a such a way that if the environment we, we we are facing here it might be other processes the are the consequences or the risks the manager is not able to take up in those situation the decision cannot be made i'll tell you making decision is also a decision and not taking a decision is also a decision okay because when there is a problem a decision has to be made to correct and even if he fears to take risk and do not touch into it the problem persists so making decision is also a decision and not making decision is also a decision of a manager sometimes this environment enforces him to do such kind of things and finally there are lot of other limitations when we talk about other limitations what are the other limitations that binds him not to do all these things it might be the compromising nature with respect to other people okay the decision made by him might not be acceptable by others or the decision made by him is not under the limitations of an organization the limit of the decision made by him is not supported by the environmental factors so there might be n number of other limitations that are associated with the decision of a manager so these are the five main problems that we encounter before making or while making a rational decision making the first is the ascertaining the problem and second one insufficient knowledge to make a decision third one not enough time to be rational in making a decision and fifth one lot of environment or environmental factors do not cooperate with it means the decision which he is, he is able to make is not able to associate the everyone's need and finally there are a lot of other limitations so as we discuss these are the problems that is been faced while decision making next next concept that we are about to look into is the decision making process this is the one of the important topic that has been discussed in every textbook and it is the major topic it's been asked in almost all the question papers that is the decision making process
What is this decision making process? The decision making process is a process of making a decision and coming to a settlement. Means apply the decisions what you are about to make and rest in, rest in, the, in a calm state so that it would achieve the objective. Means the settlement has been done from the situation of uncertainty to the situation of certainty. Means decisions are obviously made in the situation where you don't have certainty. We call it as uncertainty is prevailed in the organization. It means what would happen? Where would it the things go and what would be the output? What will be the future forecasting to be done? So nothing is known though those are called uncertainty. So decisions are made in those situations where uncertainty is prevailed in the organization and when they make a decision that is rational decision that leads the uncertainty to a certainty. So to explain this again the professor Herbert Simon Herbert Simon proposed a model. <coughs> it is also called as the decision making process of Herbert Simon model. Sometimes in some of the textbooks like W.S. Javadekar, it has been mentioned as the explain, explanation with respect to the Herbert Simon model itself means the model what we are able to see is been most popularized model of Herbert Simon with respect to the decision making. Let us see the diagram. The first is intelligence. And the second step is design. And the third step is choice. Now let us recall the one statement that was made in the earlier uh, or in the beginning of the session. A decision is always made out of several choices. That comes into a picture now. Now look at this. Now what is intelligence? What is the first step of intelligence? In this stage, the raw data is collected, it is processed and examined. Okay, what is causing a for or what is causing to uh, make a decision? So, complete analysis is done with respect to the problem or what kind of problem is been prevailed, which is enforcing the decision maker to make a decision at this instance, that instance of time. So to do all these things, he needs intelligence because rather than finding a solution, finding the problem itself is a major task. Okay, so you might be knowing if a person gets a disease, a particular disease as a medicine that can be identified easily. If a person can directly go to a druggist and say, this is the cold I am having. Let me get a cold or a tablet that cures the cold. So it is very easy, but identifying it as a cold is a major problem that needs to be having a knowledge that is done by a doctors in a similar way. A efficient person with high intelligence is required to assess this. So after assessing the what, what is the thing that is causing the problem, the next stage is design where investigation is done and analyzing the problem and formulating the solution is done. For this problem, let us formulate the solution like this. And there might be n number of solutions. Okay, So it is not that a problem should have only one solution. It can come out with n number of possible solutions. So in this stage, we are designing lot of solutions. It might be two or sometimes more kind of different pattern of solutions to the problem. After the solution has been provided, here comes the choice of making a decision. When we, tie, when we say about decision, it's the choosing or choice of making a right option. So here there are n number of choices, choose the right thing. So when we, are, when we want to choose the right thing, we should know if this is the decision made, what could be the output. We need to assess here itself. We can't do a trial and error here in our organization because it would be a blunder to try with the wrong things. Many things go in opposite way. So always ascertain yourself. Think if this is the output, what would be the input? What would be the output? You have to assess it before choosing the things. So first one is with the intelligence or choose the problem, identify the problem. And here for the identified problem, analyze the things. 
what could be the solution and you can have more number of solution here when they have more number of choo uh, solution choose the best among that then then you can execute then I could say this diagram also extends like this if the choice is wrong you need to go again to the design phase and choose the one more option that is done that is already means you should know that a manager should always keep alternative decisions it is not that he keeps only one kind of decisions and say I am done with this many of the times since it is uncertainty prevailed even he would be not able to expect what could be the outcome so he should be prepared for the all the situations so he should have n number of options or decisions to be made so so if a choice made at the first first attempt goes wrong you should go for the second alternative or the if there are n alternatives again still if the problem is not resolved you need to do the investigation again from the beginning again put this all its knowledge back into the action and do a research work find is the find the uh, problem causing situation that has been arise to or prompting him to make a decision and then repeat the process again completely so this is about the process of decision making so now in this session we have already discussed about the process of decision making with respect to information why decision is making is so important and who is the decision maker obviously a key person is a decision maker that is a manager is said to be a decision maker and now we have already gone through the importance of decision making we have seen about decision making concepts and we have seen about rational decision that is the right decisions to be made and also we have seen the problems in making rational decision ascertaining the problems and and various other factors environmental factors not sufficient time personal things values involving into it so there are a lot of parameters that are associated with the uh, decision making problem and finally we have looked into the decision making process that is the Herbert Simon model for decision making so I, I would like to repeat it again this is one of the important mm -hmm. concept that the students you students can expect in the exam for 8 to 10 marks so these are the concepts I had wished to explain in this session. Thank you very much.